Hey guys, this is HBK Grant from Dark Shinobis. I'm making a video about fishing in Plains of Eidolon today. One thing you just need to remember once you go there for the first time, you talk to the fishmonger and you take this uh, fishing gear or the cutter from the minor par person, uh, just come back to the ship and equip it into the gear menu. Once you have that equipped, just remember that every time you reach another standing, the next level of the standing with the Ostron, just make sure you uh, select the gears from there. Now, sometimes you buy the baits and you're like, hey, I can't equip it here. So I'll show you in a second, like right here, if I select the cut hole, button, it's going to give me the option when you equip your fishing spear, it will pull out another option while you're fishing in Plains of Eidolon. And that's where the baits will be. So you don't really have to worry about that. Oh my God, why, how can I put the baits there or how I can't put the baits there? So it's uh, not a problem at all. So uh, basically from here, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Cetus. And we're gonna check out. Uh, let's see. I always uh, pick a one that has like calm. Is not that busy. So uh, basically, it will just make like things like less laggy and stuff. So I would recommend doing so. And now you, uh, when you get in there, first you gotta talk to console. So you can just press option, go to fast travel. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it. And then you can actually just take a bounty from him to get some standings in. And then once you have like the standings, you can actually go there. So now let's go fast travel to uh, the fish person right here. And you'll see the browseware is the first option. Now, if I press X on the uh, browseware, basically, this is going to be where the um, uh, the things are, all of them. So like you first you do your standings and then you're going to get the lands of spear so you're gonna go do a bounty you get like it's only 500 standing so don't worry about it like hey i want to level up first then get the gear no you're gonna get the lands of spear first and try getting the luminous die first as well because this will actually help you see the fishes around and i'll show you like later when i'm fishing a little bit and i will show you like the fishes glow which makes it easier to get and then uh, each time when you level up just make sure you're gonna select uh, the fishing gears and whatnot uh, apart from that, the prep bait is basically something that uh, like uh, it, you, could, you could throw it down uh, and the fishes that are in on the daytime, they spawn a lot more. To get the fre uh, prep bait, basically you just need Insta install, pod, install pod, so which are actually during the dusk time. So if the uh, day is going to uh, night and night is going to day, that's where you're going to find it. Uh, the next one is the twilight one. The twilight bait is basically uh, for day and night, uh, day and night fishes. So when you throw it down, so the common fishes or the uncommon types, they they can, can spawn faster. And for that, you just need instal pods again. And then the maprico, mapricos are easily found on like you could find them on bounties or you could find them on uh, basically. Uh, uh, like these are like small like little bushes and whatnot so uh, this will actually for day and night active like uh, fishes that are uh, most common at the time so uh, apart from that uh, basically the other things uh, that we can focus on are basically um, the trophies but you can work on those later because uh, they, they these can be done at a later time but uh, a lot of people have the concept like we need to catch the highest fish you don't you just need to catch the large fish so basically, whichever one you pick, it will just say like uh, uh, the, in the brackets that it's L. So that means that you just have to catch the uh, L one. Now the Mercury bait is like one as you go a higher up in the standings, that's when you're gonna rock the uh, Mercury baits. Now the Trollocs uh, and the Mortis and the Gupla, uh, Gupulas, the Trollocs and the Gupulas are in the ocean side, whereas the Mortis lungfish is at the pond side. So that's where from uh, basically you're going to get these fishes and when you have to cut bait, that's when you're going to get these parts and then you can make the bait. And then mercuries are actually in the uh, ocean areas. So that's where you're going to be going to hunt them down. Uh, next up, uh, the parent fishing spear, like this is as you are ranking up your Ostron standings, you can get the parent spears from there. So you don't actually have to worry really about, uh, oh, I need to buy this spear. No, you don't. You could just level it up while you're getting the Ostron. And by the time you level them up, you actually have access to the baits as well. The next is the Norg bait, which is opened into the big lake that you see as soon as you go in there. For that, you need the Sharak and the Karkina. So these are actually in the ocean area. The Ferma blueprint, it, it basically calms the fish down. So let, let's say you kill two fish, or there are two fishes close to each other and you attack one fish. What it's gonna do is basically 
uh, uh, like the other fish will be a little bit calmer so it doesn't really do that much an effect so even if this is something like you can get after at the end the cut hole however that's like the one why I would suggest like use the Pharoma for uh, because uh, it does that uh, it's pretty fast uh, fish so for this one you need the Kapulas and the mercury liver so uh, all these uh, will require one or one way or the other the, uh, the last one is the Glapis. So once you reach like the last standing, the, which is Kin in the Ostron, that's what you're gonna when you're gonna uh, open the uh, crafting equipment for the uh, what's it called uh, the Glapis basically. So apart from that, you could there are two other options. So let's go to today's special first. So they these reset every 24 hours hours and something and you could actually even purchase them for like platinum and let's say yagwan for 10 plat and then you can get 20 out of them but these are like really common fishes and you can actually get them uh, by fishing during the daytime and whatnot so i would just suggest saving it saving the plat for the rare stuff uh, next we're gonna go to the fishing services and here you have when you select a fish you can select any type of fish it provides you either with standing or with cut bait so i picked up a charcoal and it will give me 35 standings or if i go with the cut bait it's going to actually show me like what i need to do uh, what I, what ingredients i'm going to get so i can get the fish meat the scale the chark and the fish oil so you can get more fishes in and get that now i'm going to get the charcoal again and i'm going to select it and see how much standing i will uh, get like i said earlier 35 so i'm just going to send it in and i get 24,965 other fishes actually do higher so let's pick a glapet for example if you do a glapet it's going to give you like 1200 standings which is really high and but for the drops for the resources it's a little bit rare as well so uh, i would suggest like at least getting a bunch of resources first before turning it in but I'm just gonna like uh, do a standing first and then as you can see it just went to 23,000 so like you could just cast like 10 or 15 of those if you're like master rank 10 or 12 um, it's gonna be like that so this is Norg and with the Norg you just you get a thousand so like these rare fishes they actually have that and I'm just gonna select like all to show you guys like you could just do spend like an hour or two uh, in daytime and nighttime and I actually have like 74,840 standing so I can, I'm good for like another like three days if I want to turn those in but I'm just keeping them like just in case if I'm like because I, I do the bounties and I get the standings out of anyway so I save these things just when I need the resources and whatnot so like I don't spend them or like if I need to help my clan mates out or whatnot because you could actually trade them and even sell them so the market price is going up and down these days now uh, from basically here what you're gonna do is you're gonna go fast travel to Konzo uh, basically where you get the bounties from once you get the bounties uh, you will get your first uh, mission whichever one you want to pick you get the standings then you go back to the fishmonger and from the fishmonger you're gonna get everything uh, like you get the Lanzo spear and then come back uh, at each time you level up you'll see that uh, what you need to do now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pull out a map so I will try to mark everything um, where to go, where to look for, and basically you will see that uh, what important things are there. So all the f which fishes are uh, at which areas. So it basically it will make it uh, a lot uh, easier for everybody that, oh, so this is where you have to go and fish. So there are only like three places and three concepts about this. So uh, it won't be that difficult. And make sure you have your uh, gears equipped because once you have the gears equipped you can be able to do it now uh, by get equipping your gear you can press the down key uh, down arrow key on the d-pad and by uh, pressing the up arrow key on the d-pad you can actually equip the big map as you see the big map right here now uh, as where you see me standing right above there you'll see like a huge lake that's where you get the fishes like uh, mawfish, charcoal, and norg. So during the daytime, you'll find mark, uh, mawfish and charcoal, and during the nighttime, you're gonna find norg. The small uh, places that you see, those are the ponds, those are where you find uh, like the cut hole, the mortis lungfish, the yagwan, the kutkut, 
and basically the common uh, the uh, most uh, areas on the left side like around the ocean area the coastline areas there are two coastline areas by the way but i'll show you the one on the other side but where the coastline is that's where you find the gopula the carquina the shracks the uh, uh, the mercuries and the glapids as well so uh, basically that's uh, pretty much it for the entire map and you don't even actually have to worry about it uh, one more thing about it is like you could find cetus wisps so around these areas especially during the night time so keep an eye out for those as well so make sure you get those uh, cetus wisps as well and now moving on with the fishing part basically when you go into the fishing you can get the char keels which you can use all the spears max 24 kg you can get it day or night and it's only available in the big area, big lake uh, next one is the mawfish and basically you can catch them during the daytime but they're more common nighttime they're a little bit uncommon but uh, they can be found in the big lake and you can use all the spears and their max kg is 30. When you use the luminous dye, this is how you're going to see the fishes in the water day or night. So it makes it a lot easier to see. Now when you get the Koot Koot, he is in the small ponds and you can get them during the daytime easily. And their max kg is 20 and you can also use any type of spear for them. Uh, next up is the Yagwan and they are available during the daytime and in the small ponds. Uh, their max kg is like 32 kg and you can use a lanzo spear piram or tulok for them uh, there's no problem any type of spears uh, the other one that you can find in the small ponds are the mortis lungfish uh, you need the lanzo or the piram spear to get them and they're usually common during the night and uncommon during the daytime uh, when you go to the uh, ocean area basically that's when you're going to find the gopulas and they are common during the day and the night time the max kg for them is 20 uh, you can use uh, any type of spear uh, to catch them and uh, they're, They will be like spread out around so you won't have a trouble finding them. The other one is Carquina these, these are usually active during the dusk time or like when the day is turning into night or whatnot uh, The best way to catch them is through the Lanzo spear and the twilight bait will uh, Get their attention quickly. So you will be able to get, capture them next up is the Sharak the Sharak weighs about uh, 40 kg. You need the two lock spears, uh, the twilight bait to capture them. They're, they're found in the ocean areas and they are common during the dusk or the dawn time. And they're uncommon during the day and the night time. Uh, the one after that is the Trollox. The Trollox can be found uh, during the daytime using the prepped or the twilight bait. And they're also in the um, ocean area and you can use the two lock or the peer and spear uh, to effectively catch them the two lock works really good against them um, the mercury uh, weighs about 40 kg so you need the lanzo spear to capture them using the mercury bait they're usually available during the day and the night time uh, you're gonna look for white bubble hot spots in the ocean area and that's where actually uh, they are close to them that's where that's when you'll be seeing uh, the mercuries appear the glapids as well, they are rare, uh, the rarest ones, they weigh about 44 kg in the game, the highest ones. They, you need to use the Piram spear along with the glapid bait to catch them. They're only available during the night time and they are only in the ocean area as well. So the second last one is basically Norg. Uh, Norg uh, is another rare one. So you need, they weigh about like 40 kg. You need the Param Spear uh, and they're only available during the night time and you need to use the Norg bait to catch them. And they're available in the big lake. And again, you gotta look for the white bubble hotspots for them. Now, one thing you can also catch is the boot. Catching some rare fish and instead you can catch a boot. The last one is the cut hole. Using the cut hole bait and the lanzo spear, you can catch these in the small ponds during the nighttime only. And also, you have to look for the white bubble hotspots. So, I hope uh, you guys like this video. So, make sure to subscribe and uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or whatnot. And I will definitely be there to uh, help you guys out. If you have any uh, trouble fishing, you can leave a comment below and I can definitely answer uh, questions for that. So, this is HPK Grant signing out. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy.